You have to remember there was no, virtually no birth control, certainly not unless you're a married woman. If you had to, to have an abortion, you had to fly and have one illegally in Australia. There was virtually no childcare, um, equal, no equal pay. I mean, women, essentially, most women, when they were married, were expected to um, give up their jobs uh, and um, to spend the rest of their lives living through their husbands uh, and uh, looking after their children. Most married women suffer from depression but think it's just life. Another one, we live in a state of psychiatric squalor in New Zealand. And these are referring to um, Dr. Fraser MacDonald who coined the phrase suburban neurosis to, de to describe the condition. She starts to develop anxieties and depressions of a person who's in a trapped situation. Because she is trapped, she becomes extremely insecure because the running of her life is no longer under her control. She can, in effect, do only what her husband allows, as in, you know, etc., etc. Of so many women um, who were sort of just unhappy and miserable and couldn't work out why. He was the uh, superintendent of the largest psychiatric hospital in New Zealand. Wonderful man. Well, I think feminism is incredibly cool. And all it means is that women should be equal uh, and have equal opportunities to men. So I can't understand how anyone uh, would not call themselves a feminist. And I think the women who do feel a reluctance around it, somehow they think that well, I suppose a lot, a lot of feminists are actually advocates of gender equality. They don't just sit back and say women should be equal. They try to do things about it. They try to uh, reduce the gender pay gap. They try to um, eliminate the extraordinary amount of violence uh, against women. So, so there, many of us who are feminists are also activists. But I think some women are reluctant to call themselves feminists because they think that men don't really approve of feminists. They think there's somehow an implication that you are anti-male. And in fact, back in the day, when we were all called women's liberationists, mm. there was just an assumption that every woman's liberationist was a man-hating lesbian with a chip on their shoulder. So some women were reluctant to be identified mm. because it had a very negative image. Mm. But for my own uh, self, I've always felt it was incredibly cool and positive uh, to be a feminist mm. and um, I think all women should be. Mm.